And welcome back to our final segment of the night of Coast to Coast AM and Open Lines. Let's go right back to the phone. Skype line. Randall is in Winnipeg in Canada, and he's on with us. Hey, Randall, good morning. How are you doing, George? Good. I just got to say, this is a fantastic show. Uh, I've actually not heard it until this night, but uh, I, I just got to say, you, you have a very open forum, and I'm sure on nights like this, it's very entertaining for both parties. I, I think so, too. And well, Thank you, by the way. And I think that's so important to be able to just talk to people without everybody screaming at each other. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, that's kind of what's happened in the last 24 hours here in Winnipeg. Um, there was a lot of commotion over NHL franchise, the Atlanta Thrashers, moving to our uh, town and uh, becoming the Winnipeg Jets. And, I mean, that just brought out all the crazies out of the woodwork. Uh, <laughs> They, they came down. We had uh, Harold Camping's vans. They were telling us, oh, you know, this is the end of times, that uh, Winnipeg getting the Jets back is, is just the apocalypse, that we're all going to, you know, be raptured or left behind, and, and it's just the end all of end all. And I just got to say, I, I, I just I cannot believe this at all. Uh, I, I, you know, before this happened, I, I had heard about his family radio. I had heard about all this, this nonsense that he'd been talking about for, you know, it seems like a long time. I guess he, he had a prediction that, that backfired on him in the 90s. 94, that's right. Yes, yeah, I can't believe that they're falling for this again. I just, I see this guy as just nothing but a troll. He, he has his followers, uh, and, and he believes he's the alpha, and his followers are, are just data, and they just, you know, they'll believe every word that he says. And then when he's going to be wrong tomorrow, and then by Monday, they're just going to latch on to the next one. Now, I mean, I, I will give him credit. He, he has a magnificent, you know, marketing campaign. He's gotten a lot of people to just latch on to his word, latch on to everything that he's had to talk about. But, again, he's just, he's just nothing but a troll, and, and nobody has been there to just sage that message. It's, it's just been just constantly rehash, rehash, rehash. And until it just blew up to magnificent proportions, as we see right here. It just uh, boggles my mind how he's going to get out of this. That's what I want to see, because he's been so brilliant getting this to the table. I want to see how he gets away from the table. I just think because of his age, he's going to slither away. He'll, he'll stop talking. Um, you know, the people like him are a dime a dozen. I mean, there'll, there'll be another guy who will take his place and talk about some unfulfilled prophecy and you know, they're going to say, you know, oh, your face will be this when this happens. My face will be this when that happens. And I, I just don't believe it at all. It's, 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 it's just nonsense. Uh, you know, they, they say here in Winnipeg that, uh, you know, this hockey team is the sign of the apocalypse. <laughs> and, 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 uh, might you really get the team back? Is that really under serious consideration? I really believe so. Our, our mayor had a press conference today that said it's not official, but... You know, go ahead and get out your Jets gear. Uh, the, the Jets are coming back. Uh, you know, I, maybe they'll be called the Moose, but I, I think all the Winnipeggers are, are really going to just be happy to have the Winnipeg sure. Jets back. Why did they leave in the first place? Uh, it was a different time in the 90s. Uh, you know, I, I actually think people like Howard, uh, Harold Camping, or, and Gary Bettman are very, very similar. They had their, their agendas, and in the 90, the agenda was to move hockey into places like the Deep South. And that's just right, and big, big, bigger markets. Well, our, our passionate fans are in Winnipeg. We, we oh, love yes. our Jets. Absolutely. I mean, it's just un unbelievable that they would leave, and we're, we're so happy that they're going to come back after, you know. Who were, who, were some of the, who were some of the great Winnipeg players of all time? Oh, uh, you got to go with, with Brett Hull. Uh, and, and even for That's the right. Animals. Hull did play there, and then he went to, uh, then he went to the Blues, right? I believe so. Right. That was a bit before my time. I, I was uh, in, in Winnipeg, and when they were you know, leaving, and Teppo Newman in, and and then those guys, you know, breaking our hearts, going to Arizona. But I mean, there, there's going to be a lot of happy people, um, and uh, you know, it's just it, it, I just see it even in the sports world that people like uh, Harold Camping, they they pop up there with, with their agendas. They get people believing that, uh, you know, their way is better. And, and unfortunately, Gary Bettman really, you know, had a similar uh, tactic with, with his followers in, in the States it, it uh, in, in the mid-'90s. Could be. Hey, by the way, I'm going to give you five free books if you guess this question. Ready? Oh, yeah. And if you get it, I'll put you on hold. Tom will get your address. We'll mail them out to you. Here we go. I might as well. I don't like throwing away books. I'd rather give them away. But I want people to earn it. What were the names of the six original hockey teams? Oh, every Canadian has to know this. The Boston Bruins. Okay. New York Rangers. Okay. 
Montreal Canadiens. Yeah. Detroit Red Wings. Yeah. Uh, two, two I, more, two did more. I say, did I already say the Boston Bruins? Yes, you did. Oh, two, and, uh, two more. I'm going to put a time limit on you. Ooh. Two more. Five books. Come on, give up if you can't do it. And then I'll tell you. Eh. I'm going to yeah. have to put the Glock. Toronto? Yep. And Chicago, the Blackhawks. Yep. There you go. Yeah, for Roger. every 18 and 1. I get my books. Okay, see you later. See ya. All right, next up, we go to Heather.